Hey, what's going on guys? Well, I have another knife review for you. And uh, this is a knife that I kind of wanted to tease everyone with, post a picture on Instagram or do a little, uh, you know, first impressions video, but I never did. I thought I'd leave it as a surprise. This is one of those really, really nice finds. And actually, uh, I'm very thankful to the person who sent me a message letting me know about this uh, company. I really had no, no idea they even existed. It's amazing because I, I do know quite a bit about knives, but no one can know everything, right? So uh, this knife is uh, called the Sequoia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's a 2.0, it's a black wash version. Um, this uh, comes from Russia. The company that produces this is called Custom Knife Factory. And there's a logo right there on the blade. And you can find this knife and tons like it uh, at a website called FromRussiaWithKnives.com. Super, super awesome. This knife sells for $3.90. And I have to say, you know, in playing around with this and really looking at it and enjoying it and actually using it, um, I'm really surprised this doesn't have like a $600 price tag. Everything you're getting in this knife is worth every bit of five, fifty, six hundred bucks. You know, looking at what else is on the market, uh, walking around uh, Blade Show and seeing what what kind of uh, prices knives get, especially these uh, you know custom knives. I believe these are considered like a high production semi custom knife on the same playing field as like a Chris Reeves Sabenza, the same price as a Sabenza. Um, however, it offers a lot more that a Sabenza doesn't in ways of I guess we could say art you know, and, uh, you know, fine detail. Um, beautifully made, and just, I mean, it's all about the detail with this knife. But uh, anyway, I'll get way into the knife in a second. This is what it came in. I actually really love this case, and it came with a, uh, a spare free case. It's like a free gift. These are pretty cool, very unique. All right, folded uh, padded case with the Velcro. Came with a uh, little cleaning cloth, which was nice. We got the uh, birth certificate here, all right, in July 2015, and then of course, business card. Awesome, this did come from uh, Moscow, Russia. All right guys, let's get some specs out of the way, then we'll talk about some of the details on this knife. This knife is actually fairly large, 9.25 inches overall, uh, has a long slender blade, it's 4.12 inches with a 5.1 inch handle. Um, it weighs 5.2 ounces. It carries very, very well in the pocket. We'll talk more about that pocket clip in a minute here, but uh, just the weight distribution and the overall design, it's very uh, comfortable to carry. This blade is the, uh, this is a 2.0 blackout version of this knife, so it has a black wash finish, but uh, it does come in, I believe, um, a hand rubbed uh, option as well. I think it's a little bit more though. And I like this a little bit better because it doesn't show, you know, minor scratches and stuff. Um, I love the blade profile, nice drop point. It's a full flat from here to the tip, obviously, and then we have almost full flat the rest of the way. Razor, razor sharp, sporting my favorite steel, I think to date. There's a lot of great steels out there, but I still think my favorite is the CPM S35VN. It's 0.16 inches thick. All right, just beautiful. The blade design, a little bit reminiscent of the Benchmade 943 that I carry sometimes. Um, just I like it. It's long and slender. Offers a lot of capability in cutting. Not a whole lot of belly here, but it does come to a nice acute point. The lockup is phenomenal. This is a titanium frame lock. And something I'll mention uh, a little bit later is I like the design, the symmetry um, in the frame lock swapping over to the other side. Okay, because this very easily could have been a liner lock. This scale could have just went over and covered, but I like how the lock bar itself, that design is mimicked on the front scale. Okay, these are titanium with the, um, the carbon fiber. And the carbon fiber, of course, is machined just like the titanium. This uh, wavy pattern offers a lot of grip, okay, both on the front and the back. Um, very grippy, not overly done. It's not, uh, it's not irritating on the fingers or anything like that, but it feels really nice. Uh, a lot of sculpting in the carbon fiber for comfort. It's rounded on the top here. Um, I just like the small detail, like the fact that it, it's cut in all around the pivot here. It almost gives the illusion that there's a separate pivot collar on both sides, but it's just how the uh, carbon fiber is machined. Just beautiful, beautiful detail here. It does have a stainless, uh, stainless steel lock insert on here. You can see the screw for that. So the lock face is touching the stainless steel, okay, not the lock bar. 
just a little option. It's a little detail that a lot of people kind of prefer in their higher end knives these days. Pretty popular in the industry to see something like that. The lockup is perfect. Definitely spot on. It's extremely smooth. Okay, you can see it's centered very nicely. Um, there is a anodized titanium uh, thumb disc. It's kind of triangular shaped. It's funny when I see that it, it reminds me of a, uh, a cat treat. If you guys ever had cats. Uh, growing up I had a family cat and my family still has them patches. And you know those little whiskers brand whatever. Just looks like a cat treat or cat food to me. A little triangle thing. You can see that's anodized nice and blue. The pivot screw both sides as is our 3D machines pocket clip that is super smooth. The only downside to this pocket clip is there's not a whole lot of clearance to the front. Okay, so I did find that with uh, uh, thicker pants, even like my, my uh, tactical, uh, quote unquote tactical cargo pants, uh, I had to kind of do one of these things. I don't know if you ever did this, but when you go to put it in your pants, just use that fingernail to kind of lift it up a little bit for thicker pants. Uh, if you have slacks, this will slip right in, but because there's less clearance under that clip, uh, I do find myself doing that as kind of lifting up a little bit to help you know, jump over that seam on the pocket. But beautifully machined, as you can see. Just sculpted really, really nice. And of course, again, it matches the, the clip, the hardware, and the, uh, the thumb disc. Okay, it's not swappable, I don't believe. It is being held on by two screws there. The pocket clip is right side tip up carry. Again, not swappable. So this is uh, more dedicated towards a right-handed carrier. Okay, also the backspacer is the same same deal. Nice uh, blue coloration on there. I do like the fact that even though the scales dip down, the uh, um, backspacer here stays nice and straight. So you can see that coloration. A little bit hard to see in this video, but it's a nice vibrant blue that peeks out from the back here, which accents all the other pieces. Um, but anyway, the same before is it's super smooth. It has a light detent on here. It's actually pretty surprising. It's a very light detent. You can't shake it loose very easily, but if you really give it a good a good whack like that it will open all right no problems in the pocket but again if you really wanted to you could do a little wrist flick to get that open um so you know i guess not a major flaw but definitely something worth considering if you're into your very heavy detents this does not have one but it does make opening it manually slowly nice and easy all right you can flick this out you get a nice purchase on here good grip on that thumb uh, thumb stud just really, really nice. Very smooth. The, uh, this does have a, um, a double bearing system and they use ceramic ball bearings in here. All right, so you have a really nice smooth action. It's beautiful. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just, <laughs> it's amazing that I'm, I'm constantly exposed to new knives I never even knew existed before. Uh, I never knew of this designer. I never knew of this, this entire company. I mean, if you go to the site, You'd be amazed at how many awesome, like, artsy knives there are. Really, really high-end stuff, and the prices don't always reflect that. Of course, they do have their $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 knives on the site, but you will also be surprised at how many more uh, affordable. I give quotes there because if you're really into the custom knife scene or semi-custom or uh, very high-quality production knives that are out there, um, you'll know how to relate those prices. To one person watching this, $390 is, is way too expensive. To another person... You know, you're scratching your head going, why isn't that $700? Why isn't that $800? What you're getting there is the same, you know, quality and overall appearance and design that you would pay for in an eight or $900 custom uh, or more. But it's just beautiful. It's, uh, it's definitely a great introductory into the high class society of the knife industry. Uh, if you've always been looking to get something that's primo, if you've already been there and you, you did the, the Sebenza thing and that's come and gone and you got your Strider and your Microtex and everything else and you're kind of looking for something a little more artsy, but you don't really want to fork over that seven, eight hundred bucks, uh, this is a great route to go. I mean, I'm thoroughly impressed with this knife. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, let me show you some of that detail work. Uh, it is not skeletonized on the inside. Okay, there's a solid titanium. But again, I really like the fact that you look on the front side and you have this design pattern here that is mimicked on the other side just happens to be the lock bar very interesting i like that obviously i would assume the lock bar was designed first and they kind of went with you know what let's make that symmetrical instead of this having this design in the back just being carbon fiber or vice versa where this is has a design on it and then the front's just solid carbon fiber i just i'm a huge fan of symmetry i like that i'm weird like that 
you know, something like the fact there's a little cutout on both sides here, not just the lock bar side, that's something that makes me happy. Because again, I'm a little strange in, uh, <laughs> in some of the details I like. The back spacer is a partial spacer, okay? So you still have a little bit of a flow through design towards the top there. We'll catch lint, uh, but not as bad as if it was fully enclosed. Um, it's just, it's, it's lean, it's long, it has a lot of cutting capability. Uh, phenomenal EDC knife if you can bring yourself to, to using a $400 knife. Uh, but again, you know, I have to compare this, I think, directly to the Sabenza type knives that are out there. Uh, I think as far as design is concerned, uh, it's a much more beautiful knife than the Sabenza. I do think that it is on par with the quality. It is right there, if not better. And uh, the Sabenza is, uh, you know, it's something I, I, uh, I kind of use as a bench stone to compare with quality. So that's saying a lot. Uh, like I said, just just very, very impressed with this knife. So big thank you to the, the viewer who exposed me to the site, exposed me to uh, these knives. I'm very much looking forward to exploring them more and possibly doing some selling and trading to uh, obtain more of these knives in the future. Just absolutely beautiful. So uh, definitely worth checking out. If you haven't heard of them like I didn't before, uh, the website is fromrussiawithknives.com. I'll put a link in the description box so you guys can check it out. Tons of different options out there, tons of different cool designs. It's just nice getting exposed to new knives. You know, I love all the stuff you guys love, but sometimes you hear the same thing over and over and over again. I don't want to single anyone out by giving an example, but it's this knife and this knife and this knife, and okay, yeah, it's cool. Show me something new. And this is something new. So I was very excited about this. So that's all. If you have any uh, comments, if you have this knife or looking to get something like this, uh, please feel free to uh, post it down in the comment section. Love to read your comments on this. Um, if you have experience from this company, please, please, by all means, write in the comments what you thought. Uh, I'm actually surprised, again, coming from Moscow, Russia, uh, it took, I think, five days, you know, five business days. That's awesome. Uh, package arrived nice and great. You know, it was packaged very nicely, bubble wrapped the whole deal. No problems with that. I know sometimes when you're getting stuff internationally, shipping is a big concern. Is it going to come damaged? Is someone going to steal it on the border? I had no issues at all with the shipping. So it was, it was prompt and... Uh, you know, very nicely done. So anyway, that's all. That's my review on this Sequoi 2.0 black wash version. Uh, so fine craftsmanship from Russia. It's a beautiful piece of color. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day.